How incredible is this video? Well, if you want to make videos just like this one, you can. It's called Warp Fusion and we're going to learn how to make it today. I just want to stay in the intro right now so I can show you more of this video, but let's go. If you like the visuals of that intro, I'm going to show you how to do it. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen with AI, so I really hope you do this. You're going to need a few things. It's not super straightforward, but the instructions are very detailed and I'm going to walk you through step by step. So there's two ways to do this. You can either install it locally or you can use Google Colab. But for this video, I'm going to be using the Google Colab because I find that to be much easier. If you want to see a local install tutorial, Tutorial, let me know in the comments and then I'll make one. So Warp Fusion is created by this guy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, S-X-E-L-A. And you do need to subscribe to his Patreon to get the Google Colab file. It's $10, I recommend you do it. It's obvious he put a ton of time into creating this. It's a very complex file and a very complex process. Boiled down into something where you can almost just click start and it runs for you. So I really suggest paying him for it. The other thing is if you do use Google Colab, you're gonna need the Google Colab Pro account, which is $10 a month. And both of these things are highly worth it. And of course you can get this running locally without paying Google Colab. And if you can figure out how to do all of this, you don't need to pay the $10 to this guy. But again, it's very, very complicated, many, many steps. So I really suggest you just pay for it and be done. So once you pay for his Patreon, you come here, you click the Colab link, you scroll down and right here it says Stable Warp Fusion and you download this file, the IPYNB file. And that's something that you're gonna upload to Google Colab directly and it fills out the notebook completely for you. So download that, you're gonna switch to a new notebook, you're gonna click File, Upload Notebook, and then click this tab right here, Upload. We're gonna upload it from our local computer. And there it is. He puts all the change notes in it, he gives you a local install guide. Really, it just contains everything you need. It's super impressive. Let me just show you briefly how much code this really is. So here's all the change notes. Here's some of the code. All of these different steps have been well ironed out by this guy, and it's really, really impressive. He also provides you with a Google Doc that walks you through step-by-step -step how to set all of this up. It did take me a little while to understand, but I'm gonna walk you through it visually, so hopefully that helps. The first thing you're gonna do is come down to 1.1 where it says prepare folders. You're gonna click the play button, and this is gonna connect your Google Drive account to this Google Colab notebook. So connect Google Drive, then I'm gonna select my account, I'm gonna click allow and then it should connect right there. Once that's done, we'll be able to see the files right here. And there it goes. So it says mounted at content slash drive. The next thing we're gonna do is we need to upload a file, a video file that we actually want converted into Warp Fusion. So I already have a video file that I wanna use. It's gonna be the intro to this video and I'm gonna upload it. So I just drag and drop in this left panel right there. It's gonna give me this warning, that's okay. And then it's gonna start uploading and you can see the upload progress right here. The next thing we're gonna do is come down to the settings section. We're not gonna to touch the batch name. We can adjust the width and height. now. Keep in mind, if you set the width and height too large, the Google Colab is gonna run out of memory. So I don't set it that large. So I'm gonna set it to 1280 by 720. The next thing you're gonna do is come down to the video input settings. Now we just uploaded a file. So we're gonna right click on that file and we're gonna click copy path. Then we're gonna replace what's here and hit paste. Now it knows to reference this video as it's going through Warp Fusion. The next thing you need is a Hugging Face account. It is free, so sign up for the Hugging Face account, and once you do that, you're going to download these weights. So you can download them locally first, and I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. And you're going to download this first file. Download it to your computer, then you're going to upload it to your Google Drive. Once you finish uploading it, and it'll probably take a little while, you're going to come over here, you're going to open Drive, you're going to open My Drive, you're going to find that file, you're going to right click on it and click Copy Path. Then under this Model Path right here, we're going to paste in our Model Path, just like that. The next thing you're going to do is find the Prompt section. And here in the text prompts, that's where you're gonna get creative and get to use your own style. So you can really do anything you want. He provides you with one, but I went ahead and switched it. A highly detailed dragon, man with lots of stubble, iron and fire, glowing eyes, castles in the background trending on ArtStation. So once we're done with that, we're gonna come up, we're gonna click runtime, 
and then run all. And that's it. It's gonna create all the files we need. It's gonna do a ton of processing and this does take hours and hours of time. So set it up, run it, and then just leave it. Don't quit out of this tab though, cause then it'll stop. And that's it, now you know how to do it. Okay, right before I was about to post this video, I realized I learned way too many new things about Warp Fusion to just post it and not give this update. So ignore the outfit change. So the first thing is there's a bunch of new versions and I was using an old version. I'm kind of embarrassed to say. The new versions have have a ton of new features, including a graphical user interface for the settings. Next, you can use any model you want. I was only using the one model that was listed in the instructions, but it turns out if you go to this website, civit.ai, I'll link it in the description below, you can grab any style you want, download the model, upload it to Google Drive, and you can use a model and it changes the look and feel of the video completely. And this is what the GUI looks like. You have the prompt here, negative prompts, step schedule, it has a ton of settings. And I encourage you to play around with all of them because they really change the output of what the video looks like. Over here, you have control net settings. So you can turn on and off all of these different control nets and find something that works for the video input that you have. Also, because there are so many settings, you can actually have a saved settings file. And all you have to do is upload it to Google Drive and put that settings file right here and it'll load it up each time so you don't have to start over every time. And the last thing I learned is you don't have to wait until the whole video is finished to actually preview it. You're gonna get a preview right here. It's not showing right now, but you will. And if you find you don't like it, go back up, change some settings, and then come down here and just push play again. And it starts to spit out new previews. And when you find a video and you find a theme that you like, go right here and click create video. And here are some examples from the Warp Fusion Discord that I found from other people that I think look absolutely beautiful. Check this one out. And this one too. Warp Fusion is absolutely beautiful. You can play around with it, join their Discord, figure out what has worked for other people. You can get more consistent across the video. You can get less consistent. You can come up with absolutely insane visuals. And if you have any questions about how to install it, join my Discord, I'll help you out. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.